The last presenter today will be the Wisconsin Economic Development uh, Corporation. Over the last uh, month or two, they've been placed in some new roles during the health, uh, public health uh, crisis, but their traditional and primary role is to help implement the economic development strategies and the tools that are available in Wisconsin. This webinar is focused on existing economic development tools currently available in Wisconsin. The benefit of WEDC's uh, traditional program is that it can be stacked alongside other financial vehicles to advance projects. This webinar is not covering any special COVID-19 programs. I just want to stress. Um, I want to thank Mary Gage, Vice President of Business and Community Development of the WDC for joining us today to explain their core programs. Mary. Thanks, Brian. Um, thanks, and thanks, WIDA, for inviting um, Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation to participate today. Um, I'm so happy to be with my other colleagues on this panel and my mentor, Todd Carney. So shout out to Todd there. Um, WDC was started in 2011 as a private public organization, although it's mostly funded by state state revenue dollars. Um, WDC is here to support the growth in Wisconsin. Uh, you probably hit the slide, huh? There you go. To support, to support um, industry, business, and community. So today, I just wanted to throw this infographic up here to show you how we can't do this without our partners. We work really closely with a lot of our key strategic partners, Wendy's group being one of those. Um, we help provide uh, assistance then, both technical and financial, with our partners through um, programs that we have and that they offer as well. And um, we try to work with as many communities as we can, as well as businesses, and leverage the capital investment through these projects. Next slide, please. So, Although we also offer programs, as I mentioned, uh, with Wendy's group, it, uh, we help with our uh, funding uh, pass through for the Kiva loan program that Wendy is good enough to help administer for us for our Main Street and minority communities. We also have international and entrepreneurship programs which um, are available to, to companies. But today I'm gonna focus on the WDC programs that are more traditional for redevelopment and development projects. Um, and, and I ask you to just remember some of these as you're putting together your project package because they can often, often act as uh, equity in a project because they are grants or tax credits. So um, let's see, we can, today I'm gonna mostly focus on community development investment grants and the business development tax credit program. The other programs are available. Um, for remediation projects and historic preservation of a building project as well. Um, next slide, please. So on the Community Development Investment Program, um, we this, this program is the municipality is actually the applicant or a designate, designated person or organization by the municipality. Um, it's for shovel-ready projects that are typically part of the plan that the community has put together and um, is supposed to spur and um, ignite development in the downtown areas as well as the corridors to the downtown with the thought that if a, if a really nice project goes into the downtown, it'll drive foot traffic, which will lead to additional development in, in that area. So we offer up to a 250,000 grant for this program. It's a three to one match that's required. Um, again, we, we look for significant measurables that might happen in this project that um, will, will bring job creation and property values uh, increased in the community. Um, next slide, please. So one example of how we made this work, um, the village of Pewaukee, uh, applied for this program. They worked with a private company that offered a chiropractic and wellness center that was overgrowing the space that they had and they couldn't find an available site that fit them and were thinking about possibly having to expand in another community. So Pewaukee worked with the company. They found a, a pretty unusual triangular site with an old gas station on it that had been brownfield remediated and assisted them in um, obtaining this property, getting a good design that met all of the village requirements. And it's a couple story building that offers 
um, that ended in a beautiful office space and wellness center on the upstairs. And to make this project happen, WDC was able to put in 250,000, which again is sort of the equity piece in here and a little bit of private equity. And they were able to leverage the SBA 504 loan program, which Jason spoke about earlier. Next slide, please. Um, this program is not a direct cash program like you've heard about uh, earlier this afternoon from the other presenters, but what it does do is it can free up some future cash flow for a company. Um, the business development tax credit is where the business applies directly. Uh, their projects also must be shovel ready by statute. This program requires that there is job creation year over year and any time uh, tax credit can be earned. And these credits can be earned for, through a variety of ways. Um, on here, you can see job creation, capital investment, and training. But um, the thing is, these credits are refundable. So as you're doing your pro, pro formas and applying for bank financing, um, you can you can look at these and give some reassurance that if your if your project estimates are pretty reliable, that you will have this cash flow in the future to help with the uh, help with the company's operating expenses. Next slide, please. So just a quick example of a sheet metal worker manufacturer who had a $4.9 million expansion. They had a distribution center as well as another location with their offices. They wanted to add additions on both of these and do renovations as well and purchase new robotic equipment. This was gonna result in 32 new positions, so it fit the program criteria. Um, they were able to secure uh, bank financing from two different banks on this project, and as well as complete with some private equity. Um, we were able to provide $200,000 in refundable credits, and how that works is, especially for a manufacturer, as the ag and manufacturing credit is available out there, which reduces the tax liability of a manufacturer on qualified production. Um, when they submit their tax credit voucher with their tax return at the end of the year, um, the Department of Revenue will determine how much liability is left. If the liability has all been paid, they're issued a refund check through the refundable tax credit. So next page, please. I just wanna end here with our map of our regional economic development directors. Uh, as you can see, they're located all over the state. They actually live in those regions and they're there to help answer any questions you might have about any of our programs. Um, they can also hit, assist you with the resources with our partners as well. So that's it. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Mary.